water. It covers three quarters of our planet, yet as many as one billion people still lack access to it. I'm not sure it's one billion even, because we are simply not measuring the number of people without access to safe water. We know that there is a certain number, close to one billion of people without access to improved water sources, but we are not sure whether the number isn't bigger. And the number might be of about two, three billion people without access to safe water, and 2.5 billion of people without access to improved sanitation, and one billion people um, practicing open defecation on a on on a, on a daily basis. In a conversation with the United Nations Special Rapporteur on the human right to safe drinking water and sanitation, we learned exactly how important this subject is to the future health of the planet and its people. A real a strong political commitment to making this happen, to have a future goal which covers water and sanitation, to making sure that to make sure that we don't tolerate the indignity that so many billions of people suffer continues to be a reality. As a core human rights challenge, ensuring access to safe water and sanitation was partly included in the Millennium Development Goals, but many now want a standalone goal in the post-2015 development agenda. We need a dedicated goal for water and sanitation because what we had at the, uh, until now was something under environment. And this is not enough because it doesn't capture all the dimensions of water and sanitation. Number one, a goal. And then under the goal, uh, what we need is to integrate all the normal, what we call all the elements of the human right. What do I mean? We have to measure quality and we have to commit, states have to commit to making sure that the water and the, the sanitation people get is of quality, it is safe. Catalyzing all development stakeholders to address 21st century water and sanitation challenges will be a monumental task. Fortunately, solutions in the developing world are surprisingly low-tech and practical. The people have solutions. Of course, they need the, the support from the governments, but they have the solutions. Not fancy, high-cost, sexy uh, uh, toilets and huge desalination plants. That's not what we are talking about. We are talking about more modest, but adequate, affordable, sustainable uh, solutions for water and sanitation that are being implemented with the help, of course, of states, but with the help of the people themselves and of civil society organizations. Momentum is building worldwide, making water and sanitation a likely element of all development targets for the future. For South South News, Brendan Pastor, New York.